So what is really breast cancer? Breast cancer is basically a small cancer which starts off in the breast. Very often this is unknown to the person and by the time a person gets to know that someone has a lump in the breast is actually a few years down the line. We now know that cancer basically means changes in the cell DNA and DNA is something which is transmitted to us from both our parents. So this DNA undergoes changes all through its life and somewhere along the line these cells start dividing and after dividing it does not stop. This di multiple divisions result in a growth which is called cancer. By the, what is the commonest way people present with breast cancer? The commonest is either a lump in the breast, sometimes fluid coming out from the nipple which is called nipple discharge or they may present with a skin change in the nipple areola or somewhere in the skin of the breast. When this happens, what should one do? The best thing is to go and see one's family doctor and if he feels it's, if it's something to worry about, then they refer you to a specialist. When someone comes to a specialist, the first thing a specialist does is really look at the age. Because depending on the age, there are certain investigations which can't be done. For example, if you are very young, less than 30, then we try to avoid an X-ray of the breast which is called the mammogram. However, if you are older, then we do mammograms. An ultrasound can be done in everyone and in certain individuals you may be asked to do a specialized investigation called a breast MRI. So once you go to a specialist and the specialist orders certain investigations, he reviews them. If there is a solid area in the breast, then the person is usually asked to revisit the radiologist who may do a needle test. There are, there's only one way of diagnosing cancer and that is really by taking out tissue from the breast and providing it to the pathologist who then carefully looks at it under the microscope and says these cells are normal or abnormal. Once a cancer is diagnosed, what we then do is called staging. So there are really three steps. One is called diagnosis of cancer. The second is called staging, which tells us how much is this cancer in your body. Based on the diagnosis and staging, the management or the treatment of the cancer is decided. For staging involves certain investigations to see that your body is okay. Simple things like some blood tests, a chest x-ray, an ultrasound of the abdomen to see how your liver is like. And in certain cases, they may do CT scans, bone scans, or a PET CT scan. Once we know this, or the staging has been obtained, we decide is the cancer localized only to the breast or is it in any other part of the body. Why do we require to know this? This is because the treatments are different. Once the cancer has gone out of the breast into the liver, lungs, or bone, or any other part of the body, we first treat it with drugs. Well, if the cancer is only localized to the original site where it starts, then we start off with surgery.